Hi folks, this is Flavio Fernandez. I work on Red Hat and the VSDB project for Open Daylight. I was asked to demonstrate the, uh, the Deluxe, the GUI feature in Open Daylight that allows you to visualize the VSDB network. We're starting with that, I just wanted to point out the, some quick links for uh, how to get started. Clone OVSDB project. So I'm just going to do that here real quick. Um, that. Basically, I'm just CD into my projects directory and then I'm just cloning the OVSDB project um, out of GitHub. Um, and then I'll just do a build. For this demo, I want to build Lithium specifically. So um, once I'm in there, I'm going to check out the Lithium branch like that. And then I'll just do a build and I'm just going to do a quick build like that. And that will take a few minutes. Now uh, the build is finished and then I'm back here and now I'm just going to start uh, ODL. Notice I'm starting it on my laptop. CDing where the build is for the OVSDB based on this directory. I'm enabling uh, ODL L3 by setting this property and then I'm just launching Karaf. And that's pretty much it as far as that's concerned. So now we have it here and we up and, and ODL starting. If you were, you know, normally on my, my, my other pages, I had the setup where in my laptop I'm launching some open snack nodes, except what I'm doing here is going to be a little different. You can see I'm running open daylight in my Mac here. So it looks a little bit more like this. Actually, I have um, my laptop and the ODLs, but in this case, I'm actually running ODL here. So I'm, I am running open daylight. I'm going to be running open daylight in what we refer to as external mode. So the open stack, we have the VMs in there and they, their OVS instances are going to be connecting to open daylight outside. Just like the compute nodes, the control node will also refer to open daylight externally. Okay. So there's this, this page that this is on this page here. Um, I refer to what they call it ODL mode. So if I'm if I go to my control, which I have here, so let me just do that. If I go to my con dev stack control node, and then um, look at local conf, you see uh, I my local conf is ODL mode external, and the IP address is the IP address of my laptop's interface. It's just time to stack, so I'm just gonna go here to my control node and stack and let that roll for a bit. So now we're done stacking here, and I'm gonna go ahead and I need to stack on the other uh, two nodes uh, that would be compute one and compute two. I have uh, some scripts that I actually refer to in this page. Um, where I'm basically creating some tenants and basically it looks like this. I just have two, two, you know, I have tenant one, tenant two. And this picture is just showing one tenant. But basically, you just create some tenants and then create some tenant VMs. Just launch that script. I will create tenant VM2 here. So now this is it's a script that goes into tenant one tenant one and creates some VMs in it and you can get the gory details in it from this link so I'm not gonna bore you with that right now got the tenant created here <clears throat> and I'm just gonna close here and I'm just gonna go to back to my open daylight prompt and install the feature that would uh, allow deluxe to be turned on for open daylight network so that's a, if I spelled it right. Sorry about that. So once that's there, now we can go back here, open up Deluxe, and just log in, admin, admin. This is your topologies as you would see Horizon, except you are in open daylight. <clears throat> and just to add a little more flavor to here, I'm going to go ahead and create the other VMs, the tenant two VMs. As you can see here, uh, once that's done, you're just gonna refresh that and you can see uh, 
the new topology here. Um, now, how is this information presented here? It's been a bit of time talking about that. First of all, um, you're going to see that all the info comes from Open Daylight itself. So this interface, this REST-based interface, is deriving all the information it needs straight out of Open Daylight. And I actually, at one point, I wrote a, a blurb on how that's happening, basically the stepping stones. There's really two parts to it. The first part is Deluxe is using um, the REST interface to get the neutron objects. And the other part is using the REST conf interface to get the uh, the OVSDB pieces, which is really uh, you know we actually have Postman um, in here. You can see this gallery. We checked in a bunch of uh, Postman collections that allows you to do the same exact thing. In fact, uh, if I were to run Postman and using that collection, I could just do a get, and you'd see pretty much all the objects there, the OVSDB nodes, and the networks, and all the config that basically comes from OVS over the uh, OVSDB protocol that makes it all available within ODL. Not only that, because we have uh, multiple nodes, right? So we really have in here, we have an OVS node on each one of these connected to Open Daylight. It has the ability to, to give you a global view of the world instead of just a, um, a per node visibility. So in other words, if you went back here, um, now that we're done uh, creating some more tenants, you can see this is actually giving the logical topology like Horizon would have of all the nodes. And then pretty much using, uh, using these steps and using the Postman, uh, you can pretty much uh, draw the pretty picture. Another piece of information, yeah, so if you were to go to uh, the the git you know in the OVSDB project in in github or in the garret um, this is where he lives under the resources commons directory all the all these postman collections are so let me drill into a little bit more on what we looking at here um, go back here I'm actually gonna take this in a separate screen um, you can see here the IP addresses you can see the uh, floating IPs and if I click in here, you can actually see this is a tenant VM. Um, it tells you the tenant ID, the IP address. You notice that this is all information that Neutron gave us. So Neutron doesn't talk to us in terms of what the tenant name is or anything. That's actually in OpenStack. But what does we do have it is we can cross-reference that information with what OVS does and then know exactly OpenStack compute node that lives in. So that's kind of really nice. So it's a really quick, easy way to just, by just clicking on the uh, 10 VMs in the logical view, we actually have an ability to know exactly where they live. You can see that here. And as we have the router, we have the internal networks. And here you're seeing a global view of all the tenants. So we have the external networks and the two routers for the different tenant IDs. Um, Another nice thing is now I can actually click in here and take myself to what we refer to as the 2D view. So if I go there, so this is the view from a different perspective in that this is the OVS nodes. So we have the control and the two compute. Um, every node has two bridges. So right, so you can see here, this is the external bridge and this is the uh, BR int, you know, for this node. And you can also see that um, between the VR ints, we have the VXLAN uh, tunnels. So that's what these are, the, the little dotted ones. Um, you can also see on the bridge itself which ports you have, right? You can just see right away which open flow port it is and what they are. So in this case, I can clearly see that for this bridge, but the ports this VXLAN port, OpenFlow port 1, is, is the port that connects it to uh, 20, right? So this guy must be, yeah, 22, right? Um, so from 22, that's port 1 connects to that. You see the tab port that gives the uh, the Mac uh, and the, uh, the tenant VM. Um, you can see a port for the patch port that connects it to the uh, BREX 
this patch ext so that is pretty much this port here port 3 okay um, and then you can start playing games I can do a filter I want to see only the tenants they have uh, certain nodes in this case um, this is the admin tenant and then if I look at this other one the other tenant I can pretty much filter down into different things now if you go back here I can actually click network one and that will take me to the ports and the tenants that are using that um, I can also see uh, the basic uh, information about the OVS in that node and the flow table itself so all the flows that were programmed into that um, are all here and I can see them all so that's also pretty cool here so all this work actually is done by the InnoCybe guys which is um, really cool bunch of people um, specifically the deluxe uh, work was done by Max um, and these are the Garrett's where Max uh, pretty much created the OVS DB UI and work um, and you can see more about the inner side here and then uh, this is this is Max right here <laughs> he actually looks like him <laughs> and uh, and that's it uh, it's pretty cool stuff it works really well and it gives a really nice way of going just using open daylight seeing exactly what's going on in an open stack setup without even uh, needing to look at horizon or anything so hope that's uh that's useful and uh i'll talk to you guys later